owner's manual and destruction manual. Decided to use got a one inch diameter 10 foot section of EMT conduit. It's metal conduit. This is real strong. Um, you'll need six of these. That is a one inch EMT coupling. And you'll need two of these, which is a one inch EMT. 90 degree elbow. Um, the way it's going to look for the most part that will be the very top. Okay. And then there will be two pieces that go down on both sides. Um, I think I cut them 39 inches. The whole thing will be about 46 inches tall. Maybe a little bit too tall. But I didn't want to cut the pieces too short. And can't lengthen them. So I'd have to go back and buy another piece of conduit. So we'll make them long. And then if I want to cut 4 inches off later, I can. So <clears throat> pretty much... It'll be coming down right here, and then there'll be another pipe come across about right here, probably about a foot down. The speakers will be mounted here, four of them, and then the two LED, LED lights, I believe I'm going to mount them 
I'm either going to mount them here and here, or right dead center of this <clears throat> conduit coupling. I'm not sure yet. It just it kind of angles down right here, and I don't want the lights to look like this or like this. So right here, it's level. So if I mount it here, it would be level and straight. It would sit there like that. Um, pretty much, they're going to look like that. Two on both sides, so one on each side. Okay. Now, what I'm going to mount that across piece with, the, the down piece I've already got made. It's right here. I've got the piece mounted. But the down piece goes like that. Okay. And then to mount this across, I got these brace rail clamps. This is for chain link fence. It's for inch and three eighths. This is one inch conduit, but it's that's one inch ID. The OD of this is like an inch and three sixteenths, inch and an eighth, right in that area. So. Well, let's just see if it will fit. I think it will. If it don't, we can just grind off of here and off of here, and then grind some here and here, here and here, make it pretty even. Put that through there like that. That is a carriage bolt. Put the nut on just to where it will stay. I haven't cut it yet to the right length, but we just want to see. See, I think it's going to tighten up. So I have to loosen that, put that in there like that, and tighten that down. And then that will be coming across like this. And then you can adjust this up and down wherever you want. Just loosen that nut up. Once you get it where you want it, and you know for sure that's where you want it, it's got a hole in it right here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's holes in the bracket right in the top, right there. You can run a screw through that or drill a hole all the way through it and put a bolt through it. Um, the problem with that is, is they're kind of angled towards the back. So you're not gonna hit that hole and that hole. You'd probably wanna start, just start your whole new hole right center and drill straight through. If this doesn't hold, I mean, it is on a lawnmower, so it's gonna be bouncing around and stuff and the bolts are gonna come loose, but I'm not using these bolts. I may temporarily as I'm putting it together, but I'm gonna take it apart and use, I still use this carriage bolt, but I'm gonna put stop nuts on there with nylon inserts on everything. And even here, I may drill that all the way through, put a bolt and a nut through it to make it stronger. Probably a quarter 20 by about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half bolt with stop nuts on it so that way it can't vibrate loose and bounce off and hit me in the head while I'm mowing and break my lights and speakers but um, I say we get started let's put this stuff on
I'm gonna have to split this video up into two or three parts. This first part's already 20 minutes long, so we're gonna split it up. Um, this will be part one. Um, hope you like it so far. Next we'll be painting it and, and um, putting it back on. But um, it's gonna be a long video, so I'll probably split it in two or three, maybe even four parts. So if you wanna see the rest of this, you wanna subscribe that way and hit that little bell, you'll get the notifications for part two, part three, and possibly part four. Um, depends on how long it's gonna be. But um, it's been fun so far. A lot of work, but fun. Um, so I guess we'll see you on part two.